Praise the Lord, friends. And how are you doing? My name is John Nathan Owora, commonly called Uncle John. I work with Scripture Union in the northern region of Uganda. I am married to Faith Irene Owora, and together we have one beautiful daughter. Today, I come to speak to university students. Yeah, I like that, because I'm speaking to people who are at a certain level of understanding. But I'm also speaking to people who may not know what a university is. So before we do that, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to speak to university students and help them understand what a university is, but also help them understand a little bit more about the level that they are in. Thank you so much because you are a good God. May out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth speak and bless many in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so excited because many years ago, I was at university. So I want to remind you guys, and I want to speak plainly and simply. We have all wished to greet university. We have all wanted to get where we are. We are all striving. Those of you who are watching and are striving to get to university, you're wondering, what is a university? Usually, I use the acronyms, I use abbreviations. So we shall write university downwards. And we try to explain in simple language that even a senior one could understand, that even a primary seven could understand, that even somebody who doesn't speak very good English can understand what a university is because there are many thriving to get to university. And there are so many universities in our nation. There are so many universities even in our districts. And there are so many universities all over the world. But how would a simple-minded person understand university? Those who are in university, there are people who have gone to university, they are in university, but they are not enjoying their life in university. They're not understanding why they're there. They have been, even been forced to do some courses that they don't want. But let me just uh, help you appreciate a university. We shall write the word university downwards. U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Many people come out of university and they don't have jobs. It's because they didn't understand what university was or they didn't understand what university is. Some people come out and they're complaining. They want their parents to get them connections. Some of them come out and they're jobless for a long time. Some of them come out, some of them don't make it through university. Why? They haven't understood what a university is. So let me bring it down a little bit. You, a university, is a place of understanding. It is not just normal understanding. It's extraordinary understanding. You've passed through, through nursery school or kindergarten. You've gone to primary. You've gone to secondary. And now you're at university. It's a tertiary institution. Institution of higher learning. That's why they call it higher learning. You need to understand better than you understood before because after that, you're coming out to implement everything you went through or most of what you went through or what you learned from primary all the way to university. So if you're at university, understand is the last level. You need to click everything because from there, you could advance. You could go and do a PhD or you could do a master's or a postgraduate. Or you could come out and for many years you're jobless, hitting the road. The university is a place of understanding. Understand the skill you're being taught. Understand the language being given to you. Understand. A university is a place of networking. N is for networking. Friends, don't go to university for fun only. There is fun in university, but in the fun, network. Get friends, get meaningful friends, not drunkards only, not sexual immoral people only. Network with the people above you, network with people below you, network with people at your level. It is those networks that will get you jobs. It is those networks that will get you employment. It is those networks that will help you find meaning out of what you're doing after university. It is also those networks that will find, help you 
stay in university and help you be protected. So university is a place of networking. Network with the right people in church, network with the right people in, in, your, in your faculty, network with the right people in your, course, in, in, your course, in your course units, network with the right supervisors. Befriend them. Networking. University is a place of intelligence, higher intelligence. You need to understand, yes, but you need to be intelligent to know that this is right, this is wrong. You need to be intelligent enough to know that this one will earn me this and earn me this. You need, to, you need to be intelligent enough to know that this is a good friend to keep, this is a wrong friend. It's a place also for you to be intelligent enough to know that my parents have fought so hard to get me to this level. Or maybe the government is sponsoring me. I should utilize it well. Utilize the sponsorship well. So university is a place of intelligence. V, a university is a place of value. Whatever university you go to, value it, my brother. Value it, my sister. Value it, my daughter. Value it, my son. Value it, my father. Value it, my mother. Don't waste time. Value. Value every opportunity you have in that university. Some of us want to go to a university in a certain district. But there's a university close to you and you don't want to go to it. That university is a university of value as well. Whether you are in Lango like I am, whether you are in Acholi like where I work as well, or you are in any other part of the region, value the university that you have been given the opportunity to go to. A university is a place of value. If you don't value the university you are in, you will never perform well and you will never come out and appreciate the course you did. So value the university. It means you value the staff of the university. It means you value the friends you meet there. It means you value God who took you there. A university e, is a place of education, and I mean holistic education. You have gone to the university to be educated. Some people go to play. But as you play, remember, a university is a place of education. It is out of education that you're able to get value out of that university and come out and say, I am graduating. And the graduation pattern makes sense because you were educated. There are people whose names are not on graduation lists. Why? Because they didn't get educated at the university. So get educated at university it's a place of education holistic education mind heart hands mind heart hands a university is a place of responsibility in most universities you dress the way you want <laughs> you enter lecture if you want to but after all, you've paid your money so it's up to you to be responsible enough to go to class, responsible enough hmm, <laughs> to stay in, in university, be responsible enough to know which friends to take, be responsible enough to do your coursework and finish. A university is a place of responsibility. Every, every student, every university student must be, take responsibility for their own life. If you die at university, you've wasted your life. You can't blame people and say, it's my friend who took me to drink. Yeah, you're responsible for your life. And most universities is where your parents are not. They're very far away from you. So you need to take responsibility for your life. You can't say, oh, I got HIV because you are irresponsible enough. Oh, I got drunk, I lost my eye. Irresponsibility. A university is a place of responsibility. Understand why you are there and take responsibility for every action. Don't blame your friend for your mistakes. Don't blame your neighbor, don't blame your parents for your mistakes. Take responsibility for every action, for everything you do at university. A university is a place of sufficiency. S is for sufficiency. In other words, most of the things you need are there, is there. No matter how bad the university is, as long as it's a university, it has been accredited, it has been given a go-ahead, it has been licensed by the means of education. <laughs> Everything you need is there. I know some of you want to be better. No, no, no. Where you are, use what is there. 
you will graduate. It's a place of sufficiency. You have chapel, go for chapel. The word of God is there. You have lecturers, study. You have games, do sports, do physicals. You know, you have friends, network. Everything you need is in university, it's there. It is there. There is, even God is there. A university place of sufficiency. A university, I, is a place of increase. Increase. A place of increase. Increase in knowledge, increase in friendship, increase in relationships, increase in love, increase in knowing how to deal with people. A university is a place of increase. And it's again up to you to take responsibility of what you increase in. You can increase negatively or positively. That's not my choice. It's yours. I made my choice. I increased positively. It's up to you. A university, T, is a place of training as we finish. Training, T, is for training. We train the hands. We teach the heart. We inform the head. We train the hands. That's very important for you to know. We inform the head. We teach the heart. We train the hands. We talked about education. A university place of education, we teach the heart. We train the hands. We train you to do work. We train you. That's why we have internship. Internship is a period where we go out to practice what we've been learning. If you're a lawyer, you go for internship, they take you to court to learn physically what happens. Now, if you're not trained, you'll not execute. So please, if you intend to go to university, if you intend to go to university, or if you're in university, remember, a university is a place of training. We train you to prepare you for what's out there. Some trainings are hard, some trainings are soft. So whether it is hard, whether it is soft, all are training. It has trained many of my friends to get out. It's very important that you know a university is a place of training. Lastly, a university is a yardstick. Why is yardstick? A university is a yardstick. It's a yardstick for how the rest of your life is going to be. If you come out of university a failure, that's how your life will be. If you come out of university with bad manners, that's how your life will be. If you come out of university without God, your life will be without God. Enter university with God, come out with God. If you're in university and you have not met God yet, look for a chapel, look for a fellowship. Get your life organized because your life depends on it. A university is a yardstick. A yardstick for what your future will look like. A yardstick is a measurement how you come out of university, how you get trained at university will help you for the rest of your life. So dear friends, if you are in university, remember, it's a place of understanding, it's a place of networking, it's a place of intelligence, it's a place of value, it's a place of education, it's a place of responsibility, it's a place of sufficiency, it's a place of increase, it's a place of training and it's a, it's a yardstick. It's a place of measuring how the rest of your life will be. For those of you who may not make it to university, I will have another opportunity to speak to you about whatever level we'll talk about at that time. I thank you so much for listening. Till next time, I thank God for you. God bless you and bye-bye.